Greetings, greetings, greetings. I come today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the living God. I believe that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, came in the flesh and died on the cross. On the third day, he rose from the dead. He's alive forevermore. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today, I bring a prophetic word that was given to me on September the 18th, 2014. And before I begin, I'd just like to encourage you. If you're going through trial and tribulation, if you feel hopeless, if you feel down and out and depressed, I want to remind you of God's word in Psalm 34, 17 through 19, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. He didn't say some of them, he said out of them all. You can rest assured that when God promises something in his word, he will fulfill it. You know, sometimes we have to go through trials to understand what God's will is for our lives. Sometimes we have to get, he has to get our attention through trials to bring us to a place where he can work with us, where he can speak to us, where we hear his voice. Some of us are running to and fro in our lives and we don't have enough time for God. So I would just say, praise ye the Lord. He inhabits our praises and he loves us so much. He will never, ever leave nor forsake us. So be encouraged today in your walk with Christ. Hallelujah. Without further ado, here's the word. I am the living God, the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I will make this very clear. There is no other God but me. There is no other God formed who can declare a thing and it will come to pass. Let there be no more contention on this fact. I am he that is the one true God, the creator of heaven and earth. My children, I want you to heed this most important word. I'm releasing my wrath upon the earth because of the wickedness that is before me. You, my dear ones, do not have to fear. I am your lover, your God, and I will always protect you. But you must be in tune to my voice, my directions, for this is crucial in this time. You must pray and fast. You must seek me wholeheartedly, not just in leisure. If you truly love me as you proclaim, then come to me and let us bask in each other's presence. I say unto you that you have not, but you've allowed the tricks and ploys of the enemy to obstruct your view. Do not, saith the Lord God, you must seek me out and pursue my hand of righteousness. Many of my dear ones are deceived because they have not listened to my warnings. They fail to study my word and apply it in their various circumstances. And therefore, my dear little ones, fall into various traps and find it hard to see me in those dark spaces. I am the light of the world, and the enemy of your souls can never extinguish my glory that shines ever so brightly. I must remind you that you have the inner power by my spirit to declare to the enemy flee, and so he will without hesitation. But too many of my dear ones have become disheartened. Their faith has been shaken by circumstances, and many don't believe that I'm able to deliver them. It is impossible to please God without faith. You must have faith. Does not my word say that faith the size of a mustard seed can move, can move the devil, can move sickness, can move financial issues, can move broken relationships? Am I not able to watch over my word? My dear ones, I search the earth daily looking for those who would not doubt me, but trust me fully. Those who see sin as I see sin, those willing to endure the trying times of life, to burst into my glory. I tell you, I don't find many who are willing. If you would truly lay down your wants, desires, and anything that causes you to lose perfect view and understanding of who I am, the living God, you will learn how to rejoice even in the midst of trials. You would praise me even though you have just suffered loss. Why? Because you know that I, the living God, can do all things and nothing is impossible for me. As each day arrives and then passes, in between, I ask you, my dear ones, who is getting the praise from your mouths? Who has been exalted? I ask you, who? Is it I, saith God? For if it is I, then why do you doubt me? Why do you not stand and believe I will deliver you? Why do you shed tears of discouragement and not of praise? Is money your God that when he is lost, you cry for him? I say unto you, he, mammon, cannot render you aid or deliver your soul from the hands of the enemy. 
When will my people, those who surely proclaim my name, begin to show me praise with their very lives? I hear what comes from your mouths, but I see what is in your hearts. I say, be holy unto me, for I am a great king, the one true God, and there is surely no other. I am. Father, we thank you for your word. May your word encourage someone today to believe that you are the one true God. And Father, you will deliver us from every affliction. It is your promise to us. Jesus died and rose for us, Lord God. We can trust in him, for he has all authority in heaven and on earth. In Jesus' name, we repent, Father, for not believing you. We repent for doubting you. We, forbid, we repent for allowing the enemy to cause distractions in our lives. We repent, Father, of all the things that would hinder the blessing and the power and the walk of the Holy Spirit in our lives. In Jesus' name. May your blood cover us this day and forevermore. Amen and amen. May you have a blessed and wonderful day. I love you. In Jesus' name.